Kaja Fall, it's an amazing show. Uh, I play a character called Alban uh, and Zaza, and I'm a huge uh, drag star. So if I'm looking a bit haggard this morning, <laughs> it's because I've been scraping my You're face. Not, John. I'm You're a not. <laughs> <laughs> But really, it's a show about sort of hard-won freedoms in the face of um, conservatism, which uh, in today's political climate seems quite apt for where we are right now. Um, I think as we see a sort of shift away from liberalism and a sort of slight edge, you know, right, uh, it feels quite aptly that we are touring the country with this show right now, which is, you know, still here. It's a, really, it's a show about family and about acceptance and about being who you are. Obviously, I sing the iconic song, I Am What I Am, in this show. And for me to stand on stage at the end of the first half uh, and have that moment with the audience is life-affirming for somebody like me. So uh, we're in Norwich this week and we're on to Canterbury really... next week. Are you just sensing that? Things are less liberal. I mean, it's, we're living in, a, in the post-truth age, <clears throat> fake news and all of that. No, you know, I, I, I've always lived my life as an openly gay man and never thought too much about it. Um, my husband is Canadian, uh, but was here on a Greek passport, and uh, now we're trying to get his British passport. We've been trying to get his British passport for three and a half years. You know, he's been here ten years, we've been married for five. Now, with Brexit, our applications for his passport are becoming... It's becoming more and more difficult. And, you know, he's lived here, he, he pays tax, we own property, uh, we are a unit. And I just have this niggling feeling in me, as you see in France with Marie Le Pen and that possible rise. She will abolish a lot of those hard-won freedoms that we've pushed for, and I just feel for the first time in my 46 years that I, it's something that I need to be conscious about right now. And as a young gay man, I lived my life open and lived freely and I never paid any attention to it. And it seems now I have to pay more attention to it than I did in the 80s or the 90s. So I'm living that life, so... And that's how I feel, so... Make of that what you will. Going back to Kaja for one of the few things I, I, I know about the play, uh, how it came to be, was that there was a big debate at the time, which would be, what, mid-70s? Yeah, 79, the play okay. came out in the early It was about how uh, the, the, the couple were going to kiss at the end. And yeah. I think in the original, it's recommended they just do a kiss on both cheeks. Mm -hmm. I've seen a production where it's a full-on yeah. friendship. What do you do? Can you ask, or is that a Well, you can't... You, we kiss a little earlier on, but I hind it behind my parasol, <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I, as you do in all great musical comedy. Uh, and we don't actually kiss at the end of the show. Adrian Smed plays my TV husband. You might know him from uh, TJ Hooker or okay. Grease 2 or things like that. And he just puts his hand on my bottom. <laughs> as we walk <laughs> off into the sunset. <laughs>